approach versus attraction. All right, guys will ask me, well, let me kind of just give you a little background. Um, I, I did not set out to become like a dating coach or a dating guru. I got divorced uh, 17 years ago in my late 40s. Had not dated since college. I sucked at it back then. Yesterday, I told you a few of my really bad dating strategies, like leaving a seat open in chapel and hoping a woman would sit there. I told that to so I've told that to people. One guy said, oh, I've got a, I've always had a similar one. I always leave the passenger side on my truck door unlocked when I'm driving around, hoping <laughs> some woman will just get in and sit down. <laughs> and I said, that can happen, but I'm not sure it's the type of woman you were looking for. And it's going to cost you a little bit. But, you know, the bad dating strategy. So I, I had to learn to date. And, um, you know, and so I got out in the dating world in my late 40s. Um, with, with no skills and, and you know, a lot of self-limiting beliefs. We're going to talk about that today. And, um, and, I, and I just, I, I went to work trying to figure out how does this work? How, how do you approach? How do you connect? How do you get phone numbers? How do you know if a woman's in a relationship? How do you know when to ask her out? You know, how, how, how do you get her naked? You know, I didn't know any of this stuff. Um, so I started, you know, reading and a lot of my clients gave me stuff, you know, I read the game and David D'Angelo's double your dating stuff and other stuff. And I just decided just to become a scientist rather than going out and trying to figure out how to get women or how to get laid or how to get numbers. I thought I'm just going to go try stuff. I'm just going to go be a scientist and try things and just see what happens. And it kind of like, uh, we're going to talk about attachment outcome. And I like that that subject comes up here as well. I, I just went out trying to do stuff. And all of a sudden, uh, I started getting real lucky. I mean, things started going well. And, and my clients started asking me, you know, what are you doing? You're getting dates. You're having sex. And, and teach us, teach us. And I, go, I, can't, I can't teach you. I'm not a dating guru. And they said, well, it's working. Whatever you're doing, teach us. So that was actually good. I remember, remember I said yesterday, whatever you struggle with, if you can master that thing you struggle with and become a teacher of it, you can become an expert at shit that right now, you know, boggles your mind and keeps you stuck and frustrated. So I started teaching. Now, the most common question, I lead, I lead up to that. The most common question guys ask me is they'll say, how, what do you do when you see a girl you like and, and, and how, how do you approach her and like, get her to like you? I go, what do you mean? Well, you know, you know, I see a girl I like. I mean, I mean you're like in a bar at a party. Yeah. And I go, what do you mean you like her? Well, well, you know, I, I, I like her. She's, she's pretty. She's cute. She's hot. And I go, okay, wait a minute. I always, it's, it, words are good to distinguish. There's a big difference between liking somebody and thinking they look hot, right? There's a big difference. So, so I said, okay, so basically because you see a woman's face or tits or boobs or her body and your male ego says my life would be better if that was next to me in some way, you want to know how to get that. And they go, yeah, yeah, how do you do that? I go, I don't know, I don't teach that. <laughs> because it's not what I do, and it's not what I've ever done, and it's not what I've had to do. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, I'm going to say, let's, let's talk a little bit about approach, first off. Um, let's just call it drawbacks. And when I talk about approach, I'm, I'm going to qualify this more as we talk. So when I talk about approach, I'm talking about just like cold approach, like I like her tits, I want to get her number. That's, you know, she doesn't know you exist, right? That's cold approach, right? And that's what most of us want to learn how to do. And by the way, most guys that have been traditionally bad daters in their life always pick the very hardest, most difficult thing to, that becomes their goal, right? I want to be able to walk across a busy room, you know, mu music blasting with women, you know, you know, posing and fronting for each other. Every guy in the room is trying to get those women attention. And I want to be able to walk across the room and she automatically responds to me and gives me a number and goes home with me. That's what bad daters want to learn how to do. Right. Am I right? Anybody got that kind of agenda? You're a bunch of liars. You guys have been told to be honest. OK, of course, that's why we get involved with this. Right. So but but. Uh, here's some drawbacks. I shared this with Mark last night and he said, oh, really? Um, cold approach, uh, I'm going to say just a few drawbacks. I, I think it's fundamentally invasive. I, I think you, you are being invasive to another human being 
purely because you've objectified them. All right. You, you know why hashtag me too exists? Because the majority of women have felt invaded their entire lives. If a woman is even moderately attractive, everywhere she goes, men have been invasive of her. She goes to the gym. Men are invasive. She, she's on public transportation. They're invasive. Now, if they're going out to a club dressed up, wanting attention, that's a different context. But just in general, women have been invaded their entire lives. W women are security seeking creatures. They've never felt safe walking this planet. And so I think a lot of what gets taught is, is, is pick up and approach is fundamentally invasive. If a woman doesn't know you exist, does not send you a signal of interest, uh, indicator of interest, when you approach her, they, they don't know a goddamn thing about you. Who is this guy? What does he want? Is he a pervert? Is he a creep? Is he going to stalk me? Is he going to try to interrupt my workout routine? They don't know that stuff. So guess what women automatically do in that context? Any guess? They put their guard up, which is going to feel like rejection to, to us. They put their guard up. Why? Because they're smart. They don't know who the fuck you are. Okay, so in most contexts, personally, I believe that cold approach is is invasive. Okay, it's also based on an attachment to an outcome. You want a specific woman based on some physical traits, because what else are you going on? Right? If you haven't actually talked to her, had an interaction with her, purely based on physical traits, you have an attachment to outcome. 